There are a lot of Parkinson's fitness programs out there, including Rocksteady Boxing, and there are a lot of reasons why I love them. I actually used to be a group fitness instructor back in the day. I taught a class called Butts and Guts, and yes, it was the best class on campus, but Group fitness classes can be fun and social and um, really challenging, great workout. So this isn't a video about why you shouldn't be doing a group fitness class. It's more about walking through some questions to ask yourself about the group fitness classes that you're doing or maybe deciding on and asking some questions to identify where there may be gaps that for you individually need to be aware of um, because if you're only doing a group fitness class and you're not reaching your full potential when it comes to your exercise program, you're doing yourself, your brain, and your future a really big disservice. So let's walk through three questions to ask about the group fitness class that you're in to see where we can improve. The first question to ask is, are there classes for people at different levels? The reason why Parkinson's fitness classes should, in my opinion, have different levels is because Parkinson's is a disease that has five different stages. Now, not everyone goes through all five stages, but it is important to be aware that someone in stage one Parkinson's is much different than someone in stage five Parkinson's. And it's not really that important to get wrapped up in what stage you're in, but the exercise class that you're in should have a group of individuals who are at your level because if you can't be challenged to the peak of your abilities, then you can't be making as much progress as possible. So if you're going to a class and your symptoms are mild to moderate, but you're in a class of people who are not able to stand, for example, um, then you may not, and they're, they're tailoring their class to um, the average, you may not be getting the best workout possible. And if you are someone who can't stand and you're in a, a class where um, you know every there are a lot of people who can stand still um, and the instructor is trying to do half the class tailored towards the higher level and half the class tailored to people who can't stand then you're not getting the highest benefit um, in my opinion so I think that having an occasional group class where you're in as a community and everyone from every stage and walk of life is there can be really, really motivating and amazing. Um, I also would encourage you to make sure that you're working with a personal trainer or a Parkinson's physical therapist um, individually that so that you have a part of your exercise program that someone is taking you to the peak of your ability and pushing you past it, because that's really where your brain changes. The second question to ask is how much supervision are you getting? This is really important if you are someone who is at a high risk of falling or you have freezing. What I've seen is that when you're in a large group class and you have um, a really impaired balance or freezing issues or maybe you even just have dystonia in your feet or dyskinesia in your feet that make you unsteady and make you kind of move slower than the rest of the group that's totally fine but in a group fitness class in a large class the supervision level isn't going to be high enough to where someone can take you and push you to your highest um, challenge point because someone you need to be working with someone one-on-one -on -one, so when you get up and you work out and you're doing things that are really challenging your balance someone is right there to make sure that you don't hit the floor or that you are trained on how to hit the floor how to roll when you do um, so if you are having freezing or you're at high risk of falls then it's really important to seek out a Parkinson's physical therapist to work with one-on-one -on -one so that they can again push you to that higher level of challenge so that you can get your best results question three can they tailor the program to your specific needs if you have some type of injury where you need modifications to exercises pretty often because maybe you have a rotator cuff tear or maybe you have a herniated disc in your back or um, you know a knee replacement that's still healing 
Typically, in a group setting, no one can tailor the program specifically to your needs. And some trainers are really amazing. Say you have shoulder pain, they can give you some modifications to avoid um, you know, push-ups, for example, or to avoid certain movements with your arms. But because of the nature of the group fitness class, they can't be by your side all the time checking your form and making sure that you're really not going to hurt yourself or re-injure an old injury. So in this case, if you have the need for a lot of modifications to um, your exercise program to the point where going to a group class, you find yourself raising your hand with everything and saying that hurts or this is, um, isn't working for me, I can't move that way, then it may be better for you to fill in a couple days a week working with a Parkinson's physical therapist um, who can give you modifications and tailor a program to you um, so that when you do go back to that class you know exactly what to do and when to do it and how to do it safely because you've had that training. So you might not have to give up your group fitness class but here's a couple ways to modify your weekly exercise routine so that you're getting the most out of that program. All right, so just to reiterate, I am not discouraging you from doing rock steady boxing or to do any other Parkinson's group fitness class. I love group fitness. I think it's so fun. Um, so keep going, keep doing it. But today I hope that I gave you a little bit of guidance on how to identify when and where you may need to fill in the gaps that a group exercise class is leaving open. So you can supplement maybe a couple days a week with a Parkinson's trainer or a Parkinson's physical therapist to really give you the most bang for your exercise buck. So I would love to hear your thoughts. If you're a fighter, you can tell me all about how you love Rocksteady Boxing down below. I'll make sure to give it a big thumbs up because I love Rocksteady Boxing too. Um, if you are doing any other group fitness class for Parkinson's, I'd love to hear about it. Um, you can put your comments in the comment section below and make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with anyone you think may benefit. I really, really appreciate it. So until I catch you next time, sending you lots of big hugs and of course, stay moving. All right, bye.